Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about pipe uh, in C++. And a pipe is a method or way for passing information from one program process to another. A pipe is one way communication only. Basically, a pipe passes a parameter such as the output of one process to another process which accepts it as input. The system temporarily holds the pipe information until it is read by the receiving process. As you can see from this uh, picture here, uh, process 1 buffer writes and then this is being pulled by process number 2. You can see that uh, between the kernel space and the user interface. Okay, so let's demonstrate how to create a pipe in C++. So first I have here Visual, Visual Studio Code and I'm going to create a uh, program and I'm going to go ahead and um, save this as pipe demo CPP I'm going to save it and I'm going to start typing the program so first thing is I'm going to declare include C standard library dot H and I'm going to include C studio SDIO dot H for standard input output and I'm going to include array for standard array now I'm going to type in using namespace standard okay and the first thing I want to do is well, I want to create a method or a function that allows me to pass in the the actual command line from Unix or in this case Mac OS so um, the, the function uh, I'm going to type in is void pipe uh, command and I'm going to pass in a string uh, command right and from here um, I'm going to declare a standard array okay and char 80 and buffer so that's basically um, a standard array buffer in C++ I'm going to declare a file star uh, pipe equal to popen okay popen is the function uh, that I need uh, to allow me to send the command directly to Unix so I'm going to type in string command uh, and I'm going to convert this to a C string right and then I'm going to do a read okay now oops and I'm going to check to see if uh, the pipe is no or not right if there is not a pipe then I'm going to create a standard error C error cannot open pipe to read and end line and I'm going to do return if that's the case okay. and <clears throat> I like what I like to do is I want to uh, count the number of line returned back from the pipe so I'm going to initialize my count to zero okay while uh, f gets buffer data um, data and it's going to be uh, 80 characters pipe right and it is not equal to no not equal to no 
then I'm, I want to basically do a um, I'm gonna basically increment and do a standard out of the actual buffer data that I'm getting okay in actuality I want to basically print the count the line count before the buffer data okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and close the pipe by set, uh, making this p close statement here p close a pipe okay and that would end uh, that will finish the uh, function that I created for uh, pipe command. Okay, and <clears throat> now I need to create the method. Um, sorry, the function main. In the f function main, I would like to basically create a while loop, like almost like infin infinite uh, loop. So string command equal to no initialize at while one I like to declare uh, I like to accept the input from the user so see out enter a command from Unix okay standard uh, do a get line and C in and uh, string command. Okay. Then after that, I'd like to pass it the actual command to the pipe pipe command function here. So pipe command string command, right? Okay, and that's it. And do a return zero. Okay, and let's do a save. And compile this program. So I go to the terminal here uh, in Visual Studio Code. Do an ls. I can see uh, that there is a uh, file called pipe demo.cpp. I would do g plus plus pipe demo.cpp. Okay, it has a problem seeing C standard lib.h. Okay, oops, I need to take the dot h away. Forgot about that. In C plus uh, plus, these dot h needs to be removed. Okay, let's do a save and then do hmm, one other thing I forgot to do is. Uh, I need IO stream because it doesn't recognize the C out or C in, so I need to do include IO stream. Okay, and then string. I need also string because it doesn't recognize the string. Um, keyword. Okay, now everything should be okay. Okay, let's save that. And then recompile the code. And it accepts it. So I have an A dot out here. So A dot out, it say it asked me to enter a command from Unix, and I said Okay, let's do ls dash ltr, which is basically list the files in the working directory, and as you can see, it returns back uh, the information from our Unix shell, right? If I do a cat, for example, let's say I want to do a cat, a pipe demo dot cpp, I also can see that from my terminal. Pretty cool, huh? So um, yeah, so this is a quick tutorial of 
how uh, a person uh, I'm sorry a developer can go off and create uh, a, a FIFO or a pipe um, uh, and I hope that this will help you uh, for whatever you achieve and uh, and just remember to press like and subscribe uh, to my channel if you like this kind of video thank you very much for watching